Fish Hands Crew, welcome to Martha's Vineyard. Part two. Last time on Chasing Stripers, part one. Caught a black bass on day one and blank days two, three, and four. This episode, it's time to get serious about the stripers. It's July, it's the summertime. It's a great time to chase stripers. This island just says, an amazing fishery and I couldn't be more excited to be here. I try to get here every summer and uh, based on how good it's been the last couple of years we might try to come back here in the fall time. All right let's get into this. All right guys it's not for a lack of trying. It's dusk. I'm pretty excited. I know there's fish where I am. I've gone out seven times since I got here. I've been here four days. I really want to catch a fish. We're going to get in here. Hopefully we can get it done. And uh, yeah, man. That is an amazing fish. Look at this. pre-night bite. Tide's coming in and uh, hopefully we can get some fish. It's been uh, it's been a bit of a slow week but hey when you learn something new that's what happens. So we're gonna be off uh, one of the points here in Eggertown and uh, it should be a nice night. Wind isn't too bad so hopefully we'll get a hook in the head. <laughs> Let's get out there. sand deals today at the beach so she's in kind of a uh, clouser pattern here nice fly changed flies a couple times and uh, put on something with some dumbbell eyes to try to get down the uh, tide is rolling in, just trying to get you know, one of these badass stripers to come eat some. A lot of you guys are probably wondering if uh, I'm using a stripping basket, and the answer is no. <laughs> I forgot it at home. If you're pretty good with line management, overall, uh, they'll usually just lay out in front of you and just keep your feet still. So casting behind a wedding party. <laughs> Classic. All right guys, here we are again, <clears throat> five in the morning. It's Friday. I haven't caught any fish since the first day I was here. <laughs> Still not discouraged. 
Uh, that's saltwater fishing, man, especially when you're on foot. So let's get out there, enjoy a beautiful morning, and see if we can get a striped bass. All right guys, we fished the inlet while it was uh, pumping out towards the ocean and now the tide is starting to turn. Waves are starting to stack up on the outside and uh, we fished poppers for a little while. I had a bunch of striped bass blowing up under the bridge. I waded out uh, above them and I was got into a good position um, but just couldn't, couldn't get them to eat so I was actually pretty close to my backing, so <laughs> I don't know, uh, honestly don't know what I would have done if I actually hooked one. <laughs> These are the things you try out when you're new to uh, a fishery on an island. So hopefully, uh, hopefully this tide turn will bring in some delicious treats. It's hard to get to them. They're like right by the pilings, yeah. and it's a pretty, pretty quick tide up there. Okay, guys, we got in this desperation mode. We're in a very remote part of the island. I was here last year, and I'm hoping. Might be able to get out on some rocks, get up high, and uh, make this happen. We'll see. This is actually a, uh, a sanctuary that <clears throat> is open to the public, but it's not very well known. And I won't tell you exactly where it is, but do your research. And uh, if you get desperate like me on the island, make a trek out. All right, I got a quick opinion. I don't share a lot of political stuff on this channel. Not into it, but I'm hiking down the beach and uh, you can see by the area, it's basically ocean to cliff. And these guys just bought this property and put this up. No trespassing sign on the ocean. Come on guys, that's bull.
So while I'm sitting out here on this rock, <laughs> I figured I'd tell you a little bit about why I love Martha's Vineyard so much. It's a special spot for me. I moved here for uh, about a year after college. Some of my best friends in the world, my bandmates at the time. Some of you may know I play music, uh, played drums in a band. And I did in college too. And uh, we came here to the island, recorded our first album, and uh, started figuring out what being an adult was all about. <laughs> my wife and I have decided that we're gonna try to get back to this island at least once a year. I wanna share this amazing place with my kids. And, and it's just a getaway, it's a recharge. I absolutely love this place. I fell in love with saltwater fishing here. And uh, I hope you guys enjoy this video. We're gonna have a lot more content coming. And I uh, really appreciate you guys riding along with me. Well guys, sat out on that rock for 20 minutes, looking for a fish. I think coming here in the outbound tide might have been a mistake, but hey, we had to go for it. So, hopefully we get a couple fish before we get out of here. But honestly, look at this place. <laughs> Does it matter? Get to spend the day out here hiking around, surrounded by some of the most beautiful coastline I think North America has to offer. And uh, just feel really lucky, man. Really lucky to be out here. With that, I hiked out of there. We were heading into the last day of the trip, and just hours before the ferry ride, I decided to throw a Hail Mary and try to find the elusive striper way up high. Well, guys, it's the last couple hours here on the island. I uh, came out to a channel, a pretty remote spot. <laughs> I raised about a 30 inch striper on in incoming tide, right up to the fly, and uh, I didn't take it. <laughs> We're gonna hike down the beach a little bit, give it one last shot before we head to the ferry. Look at going, guys. Striper. Finally! Oh man, it's so sick. <laughs> nice little striper. I was gonna see if we can get another one. He's right off the beach. <laughs> oh. We got a bite right in here, guys. Smith never given up. I probably walked, I don't know, a quarter mile of the beach. Uh, just casting, I don't know, 35, 40 feet out. 
And uh, I'm actually not doing hand over hand retrieve, just kind of jerky strips. This pattern's got heavy dumbbell eyes on it. Let it sink, strip it up a couple times, let it sink again. It seems to be the type of retrieve that they're liking. So fish aren't big, but we're getting into them and I couldn't be more happy. It's been such a long week. <laughs> Guys. This is it. I hope you guys uh, enjoyed this adventure. I worked hard. I worked really hard and I'm happy for the fish that I got, but uh, I'm certainly left pretty hungry for more. We'll be back maybe in the fall time. I'll be start running around here and uh, fishing can be insane. So we'll see, we'll see. It might be something we, uh, we just have to do now. All right guys, just gonna wrap this one up. Thanks so much for riding along. Oh,